Jules by Jude. And of course we have mail openings that I can't wait to see. And we have a cane that we had opened. And I got this is a roller. And here's the difference. This is bought at Michael's for about nine dollars or so. Um, if you use your 40 or 50 or even 60 percent off, you'd get it for a lot less. And this was two dollars if I wish. I uh, haven't used it yet. This is heavier obviously and as you can see this one is much thicker. But uh, after using it I'll let you know if there's a huge difference between this type and that type. So that's nothing too big. Um, this is the cane just to in case you missed the video. This is the cane from the other day with Miss Samantha, my granddaughter. This was bought on eBay for approximately $10. Now, uh, the issue here, let's get some of this out and we'll do this mail opening in a moment. Uh, the issue here is the size. Well, I mean, it's not an issue. It's, uh, but I mean, let's look at it. It's not quite two inches, okay? Because each one of these blocks here is an inch. So not quite two inches. And it is beautifully designed. It looks like a rose to me. It's by Sheila. It's soft. If you saw the tutorial that I did, it's not super soft, but it's uh, appropriately soft. And if you had saw the uh, video I did on the canes, this is what started it. I looked on Wish, which I still am, and I'm buying on Wish, which I still am. And I'm doing reviews and comparing and showing you what I'm finding and the prices and such and attempting to use them either for the first time or to use them uh, and compare for what I've been using. So, as I said, the beginning of this was the small canes I had come across with the um, Wish, and I'm going to get them now. Okay, so as I said, what started this all was this little bag of uh, canes that I had paid for and bought through Wish for maybe a couple dollars. And what I did was I cut them, and this is just so you, you know, if you're just interested in this video, you don't have to go back and see it. You can see what I did. And, I, and, and basically what I was trying to explain here is that these canes, I'm used to canes that might roll out or change shape or form or, or anything like that. So I do have a use, I think, that I may be able to get away with with some resin as far as this, these canes go. When you bake them, they bake harder, they're harder than what they are. Right now they just feel like a, a soft rubber. They're cute, they're pretty, and they're purposeful somehow. But it wasn't what I thought, so I decided I would attempt to buy something which I wanted what, what I thought, and that was this. And this cost me $10 with shipping, okay? So as I said in the beginning, it's not quite two inches. I'm going to slice one slice off. Now, it's going to be a thicker one. It has stayed the consistency of what it is when I bought it. It cut very well. Okay, and um, I didn't have any issue with uh, distortion. It wasn't too soft. It wasn't too hard. I feel as though I don't want to roll this piece out. I kind of want to save it for right now. Uh, I probably am going to bake it as is. Wow. I, I, got, I already like this. Just, this is beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank you, Sheila. I think that uh, it's a beautiful piece. So I'm going to move on from this cane, and this cane was bought on eBay, 
wait, yeah, eBay for about $10. So the next package I'm going to open up is probably and most likely going to be the other canes that I bought from Etsy. And they are the more the smaller ones. And I can already tell you this is an awfully light package. It doesn't feel like anything is in it. I think these are the smaller ones. Oh, what a beautiful card. Well, let's see what we have in here. Shall we? Wow. These are, these are super tiny canes. This is quite interesting. Um, I guess at this point, let me just make sure that there isn't anything else in here. Okay, the wrapping is uh, sufficient for the product. And these are extremely tiny canes. And these canes, I believe, cost me five, eight dollars, I want to say. Eight dollars. All right. Now, I was, I mean, I'm sure they have, they must have the size on the, on the listing, but this is really small. This is a lot smaller than I originally thought it would be. This is crazy crazy small but I can tell it's clay that can be managed I just really already have not expected to be this small but you know eight dollars this looks like some type of strawberry that looks like a spade or a heart uh, this is a leaf, very tiny. Let's see here, a moon. Uh, looks like another leaf. Let me see what I can put next to these so that you can see the size of these in comparison. Also, now, I mean, I plan on using these. Don't get me wrong, but these are some tiny, tiny, these are an, an inch long. Another leaf. And they're beautifully done in detail. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to put that up there a little bit. A star. Tiny little star. A little flower that's for some reducing there okay so it does look like she put something else in there this is the cane from wish and this is the cane from the Etsy store now uh, I will take a little slither I can already feel the difference now this appears to be uh, thanks for your order, follow I Candy Clay. Now, I Candy Clay is spelled lowercase I, capital K, lowercase A N D I, uppercase C, lowercase L A Y. On Facebook, Instagram, and uh, that is her Etsy shop as well. So let me see what my free gift is. So I'm not really sure what the normal is. And I guess that's really what I, my goal is was here to find out what a normal or what you want to do. And normal is what, you know, everybody's normal is different, I guess. And um, these two are stuck together. And these may be like the ends of her canes or something that they're sticking together. However, you know, if you're trying to, first and first and foremost, you can make your own canes. You know that because we made some. Now these are very uh, intricate designs on these canes that I have in front of me. All of them. 
actually, even the, even a wish. But what you make a cane and then you reduce it to, to a certain size that you need or want for your project. So if you were unable to or didn't have time or didn't, whatever the case might be, you would probably order this sort of canes for yourself to use in a project. Okay? This is reduced very, very, very small. Very small. I'm still looking for something that I can use to show you. So, what I want to do is let me cut a slice. Okay? And I want to cut them as close together as possible to size. So, you know, these are leaves you might use in a project. And that's kind of where we're at with this. So, I, I couldn't tell you one way or the other what I, I might... I can say this. I'm thinking I would have probably wanted more for my money, but yet they are the right texture, they're the right type of clay, they're beautifully designed, and they're very small. So, like I said, she gave me the free gift, which was these these center ones here. This is part of that. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten canes for about the same amount of money. So anyway, we're going to move on. We did the UV lamp yesterday and I want to just say that uh, that just did not work for me. Uh, it did the video is short and I do know I leave my UV items in for a lot longer than 10 minutes on the video but the video technically was a lot longer than 10 minutes I had cut it down but that that light was on and off for maybe 30 minutes and uh, did not cure that resin at all and uh, that's just not acceptable so uh, I would not buy that lamp from anywhere let alone wish okay and that is the I'd have to say right now I think that's the most disappointing item I got from wish even these canes can be modified in a project that I would be probably quite happy with okay so um, we're gonna move on because there is some more wish stuff I believe over here and I want to put these the items away so again, those miniature canes came from eye candy clay. Eye candy clay. So that's where that came from. I'm going to put these back in the box. Okay. And we're going to check out whatever we got cooking over here. We got that beautiful piece of cane that Sheila did. Uh, I have to leave her a raving review. Let's open what I already know I have, and that is stencils, I believe. And I think this was the last stencils that I used. Oh, I'm sorry, that I bought from Wish. And uh, let's see how they come out. They're packed appropriately because they made it. They made. They all made it the same way, nice and straight. No, like got creases or bend marks or anything like that. Let's take a look at them. Okay, I have this. Look like possible trees here. I have to go back and see what I ordered, but the, the figures. So, 
So I guess technically they go something like that because you, they have this side. I like that. They have this this piece here that you just pull off. So it's still high on the list. These stencils are sturdy. They worked fine with my last projects. They are not as detailed as some that I have gotten. I got a really nice Tree of Life one from, uh, let's think here. I think RJ Crafts. And All right, next up is this. I seem to be getting a package on or two every day. Obviously, this is from Wish, because that's where I've been wishing from. And I don't know for sure what this is. I'm about to find out. Okay, down there it is. Alright. Interesting packing. These are... Prism Pro, Prism and Pro, non-toxic oven clay. Easy to condition. Bake at 130 C for 30 minutes. Do not microwave. Place the mold clay, molded clay, is a reading, the letters are real small. Place the molded clay on a wax paper or baking sheet. All baking must be done by an adult. Okay. Now, it looks as though I paid $5 for this. And they are packed quite well. That was the first wrapping, you know, in addition to all this. And I wondered about shipping polymer clay from anywhere actually so um, let's 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 try to make a uh, Skinner blend yeah I say the time you have to wait because you know you could technically go to the store for goodness sake which is our which is very sticky clay very soft by the way very very soft Sticky soft. This one's a little bit, a little bit harder. Not much. The red is sticky. I don't have my powder in front of me either. So, I'm going to put this beautifully softened, conditioned, preconditioned clay already. <laughs> That's what I call it, but it's too soft. <laughs> and we're going to send this through our trusty pasta machine about a hundred times. the blue, a yellow, and a red, and they have no colors written on them. You're just going to have to go by what you see is what you get, which is okay to some degree. Color is okay. The consistency is very, 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 very um, sorry about that. sticky and soft. Like a lot more than uh, Sculpey. It's definitely the softest I have used to date. Let me roll this up. Man, this is like bubble gum or worse. Oh, I was 
gonna say I don't even know where that came from. There, I take it out of the refrigerator, look at it again, because I'm not going to get a, a good cut on it. Okay, everybody, um, just a little bit of uh, going over in the video. Jewels by Jude. I did a really good review on some of the products from Wish. And this is a product from Sheila. And uh, I think her card, yeah, I showed you her card. And um, I like this cane, absolutely beautiful. I put it in a double sided um, pendant cap, bezel cap, and I'm going to sand it down and uh, both sides it's already been baked and uh, after I sand it down I'm going to probably put some UV resin on it and I'll show you in the next video the finished product cuts down on the length of some of these other videos I hope I also have a couple other pieces hopefully baking now that'll come out and look beautiful as well this is Jules by Jude have a good day if you like the video, like it, share it, and please subscribe. Thank you. God bless.